So one of my favorite genres, especially right around this time of the year, is the gourmand genre. I love my sweet fragrances, especially right around this time of the year when the temperatures start to drop, there's a chill in the air, you just spray on something sweet, and it smells divine. I'm going to be going over 10 of the current best fragrances in the gourmand genre for the year 2022, so make sure to stay tuned. Now before I begin this video and I tell you about these 10 current favorite, absolutely amazing gourmand fragrances that you can enjoy in the year 2022, now that the weather is starting to get cold for many parts of the world, I want to start things off by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it, hit the bell icon and click where it says enable all notifications and give this video a thumbs up. And of course, my fragrance Raised Spirits, which is my newest release with Navitus Parfum is currently available for pre-order. There is a special happening on the website. Definitely make sure to take advantage of it while that pre-order special is still active. Thank you so much for all of your support. So let's go ahead and dive into the list. One fragrance that I've been loving for so many years is 1270 by Frappon. Frappon is a cognac company and 1270 is the year when they came out. This is an amazing dried fruits, cognac, boozy, and pineapple fragrance composed by Sidonie Lancaster. It's an amazing, amazing fragrance, has been a favorite of mine for many, many years. And if you were to classify it, the best fit for it would be a gourmand. The next fragrance I want to talk about is a beautiful, dusty, powdery cacao fragrance with some animalic tendencies in the dry down. This one is Cacao Porcelana by Atelier Materi. Beautifully done chocolatey goodness with some darker musky animalic components. It has a sexy, alluring personality about it as well, which is something that I really like. Perfectly unisex too, by the way. This next one has smoke, cotton candy, butter, vanilla, and oak moss with a touch of saffron and bergamot if I'm remembering correctly. Mr. Pink by Blackcliff. Butter, cotton candy, oak moss. This is one of the most unique gourmand fragrances I've ever tried. If you're looking for something that doesn't smell like what everybody else is wearing, chances are Blackcliff Mr. Pink is gonna be an amazing choice for you. I love this one dearly. And of course, we also have Angel Share by Killian Paris. There's also Intoxicated. I've done a list like this in the past and I'm pretty sure I featured Intoxicated on that list. That one smells a lot like Angel for Men by Thierry Mugler. This one kind of has that boozy, sort of cinnamony, warm, ambery touch with a little bit of spice. Very well done. I love Angel Share. And then we also have what is arguably the best chocolate fragrance by Montal. This is Chocolate Greedy. This is also very, very well done. It smells very creamy, vanilla, chocolatey. A lot of people equate it to the smell of a Ferrero Rocher chocolate. Really high class, exceptionally well done, and what a delight to wear and to smell. I could live with the atomizer underneath my nose. It smells so good. Now we're getting into a bit more of a unique territory here. Sweetie Aoud by Roja Parfum. This fragrance has a macaroon accord, which is incredibly unique when it comes to niche fragrances. And this fragrance does it so well and it lasts such a long time. You do have some florals, some wood. So of course you are going to get from it the complexity that is found in a lot of Roja Parfum creations. And of course, if you like chocolate, let's continue this theme with Symphonium by Zerzhov. Now this is one of the more expensive fragrances on this list, arguably so, but it's a beautifully done orange and chocolate fragrance. You also have Indian cardamom, Belgian chocolate, white musk, vanilla from Madagascar, and a mix of two different types of ouds. Superb. Absolutely amazing. What a deep, sensual, long-lasting chocolate fragrance. Truly one of the best. And then, of course, we have a fragrance that was also composed by Sidonie Lancaster, who did 1270. This one was creatively directed by a YouTuber, Monica Choch, by Navitus Parfum. It's called The Embrace. This has one of the most divine openings that you'll ever encounter. 
in a fragrance. That Indian sesame accord, the coffee, the honey that's in there, it is absolutely amazing. And for me, it's a very non-linear fragrance, but I love the opening. And it's one of these fragrances where at the top of every hour, I can respray it. Not to suggest that it doesn't last, it actually lasts a very long time, but I love that opening so much. And then of course we have what is arguably one of the best vanilla fragrances on the market, right? We spoke about chocolate. When it comes to vanilla, you have Ani by Nishane. You also have some fruity touches in there, a little bit of black currant, which can be a little musky at times. You have a blue ginger note or a cord, um, but the vanilla is really front and center. And I've heard a lot of people describe it as such, and I would kind of agree with it to a, 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 an extent. They said, imagine Creed Aventus, but with only vanilla, right? No pineapple, no apple, just that vanilla, but made 10 times stronger. It's kind of what you would expect. Um, although I think one that matches that description a little better is Imperium by um, Electimus London, but Ani is amazing. And one of my new loves, my one of my darlings, I've been mentioning this in a number of videos already, this one by Narcotica is called Dulce Diablo. This was composed by Claude Durr, who is a Mon perfumer. And this fragrance has rum and whiskey, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe cognac and whiskey, but it has a couple boozy ingredients. It also has peach and apricot, and it has this beautiful sort of a chocolatey caramel, just amazing goodness about it. That initial whiff is so tantalizing and so mesmerizing. Dulce Diablo by Narcotica is one of the best modern gourmands I have ever smelled in my life. And really kudos to the brand for putting out such an amazing fragrance. Everything that I've tried by Narcotica so far has been nothing short of perfection. Brilliantly done, so well executed. I'm incredibly impressed. There you have it. 10 of the best gourmand fragrances that you can get your nose on in 2022. What are your favorites? Leave a comment down below. Always curious to hear what your thoughts are. Do you have any favorite gourmand fragrances? Do you even like to wear gourmand fragrances as the weather gets cold? Let me know. Leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, enable all notifications, give the video a thumbs up. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.